hi everyone and welcome back i thought today i would do a little get ready with me video because obviously due to the current circumstances that are going on i think we all need that little bit of self-care routine in place to make us feel a little bit better and to be honest doing a makeup routine is part of self-care so i thought i would do that and just have a little bit of a chit chat as well so let's get started um, I will be starting with the Palmer's, um, what is this? It's the Ultimate Moisture Stick. I use this all the time for my chap lips. I would usually use my um, Dr. Paul Paul as a base, but obviously I can't find it, so I will use this as a base instead. I am then going to go in with basic products that i use now a lot of people will be aware um a lot of vloggers who usually do get ready with me or like makeup routines or whatever all of the products that they use are they are what's the words i'm looking for not inspiring people this is gonna bug me now because i genuinely can't think of the word what is the word i'm looking for influence that's the one influence they basically influence you to try out new items and beauty products and things like that now obviously due to most of the websites being down and only the basic ones being available obviously i'm not aware of which shops are down and which aren't i know boots have a queue so if you want to buy anything from boots you'll be wasting a while super drug seems okay for basic products but as for high-end things, I get most of my high-end makeup from Harvey Nichols. And the Harvey Nichols website has not gone down. So basically, I'm going to be using things that I would use on a daily basis. Now, for those of you who are aware, I do not wear makeup in every video that I do. I am not one of those people who picks makeup up and wears it on a daily basis. Now, obviously, when in the past couple of videos, I have made the effort and I have started doing that routine. Just because I don't wear makeup every single video or every single day doesn't mean I don't have a routine in place. I do have a routine in place. I'm not winging it. This is my routine. Obviously, I've multiplied recently on the products that I use and I've started contouring. I've always used highlighter. Uh, but it was one of the later things that came into my makeup routine about three years ago. Contouring, I never got the hand of because basically it just felt, felt like it was muddy on my face. And to be perfectly honest, that is also down to the product itself and how good it is. So firstly, I'm going to start with a primer. Now, this is the Ordinary Primer. It is High Adherence Silicone Primer. Now, I've seen a lot of people complaining that the, this primer has silicone in it and they don't like it. It clearly states on the packet, it is a silicone primer. If you do not like silicone primers, this is definitely not the one for you. I will try something different. I have um, a range of different primers myself that I try out because obviously recently I've started experimenting with, make, with new makeup so i have a few samples that i try but to be honest for this video i'm gonna try my best to do everything on a budget because like i said a lot of these products you might not be able to get and if you do you'll be waiting a while so this routine will be based on whatever you have around already not a case of influencing you to go out and try new things by all means put them on a wish list and whatever but yeah we're using things that we already have i'm not doing this video to influence you to buy things that you may not be able to get at this point now secondly i am going to go in with my foundations now i mix two together and um, i mix both of these now, the darker colour, I think I'm probably putting a little bit too much in at the moment. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to start off with a slice of the dark colour and put that on the sponge first. Yes, I use a beauty blender, just so you all know, because I think that is the best way to do foundation. It's flawless at the end of it and you do see a result. I am then going to go in with my porcelain foundation that you just saw in the Rimmel. I am going to use one and a half pumps of that because I feel like I'm going through foundation too much and there is absolutely no need for the amount that I use. Um, I do think I'm going through way too much so I'm going to try and even it out. So let's go in with that. So, how is everyone coping during this time? Because I, I can be completely honest, it is starting to get on my nerves. It really is starting to get on my nerves. Um, obviously, I've stopped walking Megan because I just don't feel it is going to be safe enough at this point due to the fact that the coronavirus is actually spreading quite dramatically. So I think it's better if I was to just not walk her at the moment, um, keep her in. She does have a back garden to play in, so it's not like she wouldn't be completely going out because when she goes in the back garden, she does go for a good run. Next, I'm going to go in with my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is one of the best concealers I have to be honest, this is the only concealer I've ever used for... I've recently started using it. Now, the reason I'm saying it is the best concealer I've used is based on the fact that I don't use concealer. And I did a years ago. And I used a stick concealer. And I can't even remember what it was called. And I had that for years. But this is by far the best concealer. So I'm going to start going in with this. Now, obviously, I have broke out over the past couple of days and I have a few spots here, so I'm going to go in with them as well. I'm now going to take my Beauty Blender and start blending all of this in. This Beauty Blender is just a basic one from Primark, which was really, really cheap. Now, obviously, due to the situation, like I feel like I'm going to say a million times in this video, Primark is no longer open and they do not have a website that you can buy from. They only have a website that you can see things from. These beauty blenders, they are good. But to be honest, I think you could do better if you... Well, not better, but I think you could buy an equally good beauty blender like this from either Amazon or eBay. Because I think they are all pretty much the same. I have now blended that in as best as I could and I'm now going to go in with my contour. Now this is the best contour I have found. It is Huda Beauty and the shade is fair because from what I've been told this is quite dark as it is. So I go between this and the the hula bronzer but i think this one is better for blending with so i'm going to go in with my morphe r9 brush and i'm going to basically just dab a little bit because believe it or not that's all you need and i'm just going to basically do the contouring of my face I'm going to be completely honest, when it comes to contouring my nose, I'm not really that good. So obviously this could turn disastrous because I don't normally contour my nose. I am now going to go in with the other part of the Beauty Blender. This is also from Primark. It is, I don't know actually whether I showed you or not, but it's like a light pink and a marbly type effect. If you can just about see it. This is a light white and pale pink marbly effect. These came as a duo from Primark. And obviously this is the one that I use for my concealer. And this is the one that I use for my contouring because it is absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to basically pat it in. 
sorry for the lighting it is a little bit off but actually i should be able to fix that on my camera so yes i'll see what i can do also did i mention i'm filming from my new phone and the quality of the picture from what i can see seems to be quite good also, I have one of my cats in the room behind me, so if you can hear a lot of scratching, she is on the box which contains my Zara haul, which will be going up before this video. So that will also be something to look forward to. I'm now going to go in with my, it is still in the box because I absolutely love the box completely. It is the Laura Mercer translucent powder. This is meant to be the best powder out there. But to be perfectly honest, I also have the Huda powder and I found that that was better. I don't know why, I just found it was a better powder. So I'm going to take this Spectrum A01 brush and I'm going to use this to basically set my face. Now, I see a lot of people wasting powder um i don't do that because it will be the biggest mistake you make you know what is the point in wasting all this powder because you see a lot of people with the brush especially with eyeshadows and they um have a palette that has a lot of fallout in and they get the eyeshadow they put it on the brush and then at the end they do this don't do that because you know you don't need to you're just wasting a product i'm just gonna tap this all over my face and give it like a light dust i will not, i used to sweep powder across my face i do not do that anymore because i found it just didn't have the same effect as doing this i will sweep under my chin because obviously it is just so much easier to do but yes it is not necessarily the best way of putting powder on it's why i sort of like dab it into my face a lot of people also throw away the excess powder that is in the lid. I don't. I'm going to tap it back into the um, powder and that way you don't get any waste. Now, again, a lot of people raved about the NARS orgasm. So I went ahead and bought one. I honestly don't think this is as good as MAC. Um, this is quite light so basically this is what the colour looks like I'm going to go in lightly with this because obviously I, people when I bought this from the beauty counter the woman actually said this is a buildable fat a buildable blusher which I genuinely do not believe is buildable at all so let's give it a go I can just about see it on my face. I can't really notice a difference. I probably am going to have to go in with my um, MAC one because it's just not showing up at all. Okay, I can see that blusher on my face a lot better than what I did last time. So I don't think it's necessarily a case of I am putting this blusher on wrong. I think it's more of a case of obviously when you buy a new blusher uh, and when you buy a new blusher, it has some sort of like a film over it and you have to sort of break through that film to get to the, the best of the, of the blusher. And I think that's basically what the problem is. So I seem to have done this. I'm now going to go in with my Beck highlighter. This is a new highlighter. I have never used Becca highlighter before. This is a new purchase and I got it in the colour Opal. I usually use Illa Masks OMG, but obviously I hit pan on it majorly and the only way I can get use out of it is if I scrape the bottom of the pan with my nail. Otherwise, it's just not picking up any pigments at all. So I'm basically just going to go in with this on my the top right if you can hear my daughter downstairs i am really sorry she is being a complete fucking brat today and i have no idea why she's done this for the past couple of days and it is really starting to annoy me now so 
so i have just finished highlighting my face i have cleaned up my eyebrows i have basically used a, a q-tip to do that obviously you can see the amount of foundation and powder that came off there it is amazing how much crap ends up in your eyebrows give me a moment to just move the cat she is really annoying me at this point Obviously, the cat was sitting on top of the Zara box and making too much noise. So I basically had to move the box out of the way. Um, yes, so let's get on to eyeshadows. Now, normally, my go-to eyeshadow is a Huda Beauty eyeshadow. It is the Nudes. Um, there are three. Oh, it's the Nude Obsessions palette. I have all three, and my go-to one is the Medium Nude. But today, I thought, you know what? Since we're doing uh, what we have at home, I thought I would go back to basics. Something that I used to use all the time. So I got out. This is my very first quad eyeshadow by Mac. Um, is a very old and you can't even get this anymore this is the eyeshadow i will be using it is called point and shoot if anyone used to wear this you will know exactly which eyeshadow i mean this is how it looks it has worn really well since i have been using it so i'm basically going to go in with this shade right here as my transition color um, I'm not going to touch the black. I'm just going to go between these three shades and hope for the best, basically. So I'm going to have to get a mirror because obviously I need to be able to see close up. I am really, really sorry about the lighting because I can see how dark it is in here. And even I'm not happy with this lighting, unfortunately. So I will see what I can do. Um with the camera hopefully i can lighten it up later on if i can't i am really really sorry about that so first like i said i will go in with this shade right here as my transition shade into my lid i also thought that i would take this opportunity to basically Obviously, because we're all stuck in this situation together, I thought instead of going on about depressing crap, let's try and uplift everyone's spirits. Now, I have I thought I would talk about my um, luxury wish list for this year. Now, it's quite small. It's not as big as a lot of other people's wish lists are, but I thought it would give something to... It, that will be something good for people to focus on in the, for the future. So it is a goal. Once all of this is over, if none of the websites have gone down, obviously you can aim towards that wish list now. But unfortunately, I think a lot of the websites are going to go down quite quickly. So I thought, let's have a little talk about what we want and basically share with everyone what our wish lists are so if you have a wish list comment below and tell me exactly what you are wanting this year which is on your wish list mine is quite small i have two items that i want i have the gucci soho disco in the color i actually think the color, i didn't actually realize this but i thought the color was actually just a plain black color it's actually called nero and I will leave a picture, I will slot in a picture of that right now. The next item on my wish list is just the um, Speedy 25 Bandelier in the monogram. As everyone will know who watches my videos, I do currently have the um, 30 Bandelier in the demi bean but obviously i didn't realize how big it was i thought it would be the perfect size and it, unfortunately it isn't it is too too big for me and after a while of wearing it in it does actually start caving in on itself even if you have a bag organizer inside it that is one thing that i was shocked by because everyone said get a bag organizer it will be absolutely fine you know, it will keep its shape, it will do this. 
the bag organizer will eventually start to cave in on itself which i was not expecting at all i am now going to go in with this color right here just in the corner of the crease the outer corner and i'm going to be completely honest i haven't used this palette in a long time this used to be where i wore makeup i didn't wear eyeshadow palettes well i didn't wear eyeshadow at all this was the palette that i used when i was going on a nice house and basically it has been a very long time since i have used this palette it has been a very long time since i have been on a nice house so obviously the way this turns out is what's the words i'm looking for it could go either way basically so i'm just hoping it will turn out the way i want it to turn out so i'm going to go in with this in the outer crease right here i genuinely don't think i need as much as i thought I'm now going to quickly swap over to a blending brush and blend all that in or out or whatever people think the correct word is. It turned out sort of okay but a little bit smudged in area so I'm just gonna try and fix that up if I can. So I'm going to go into my next eye and I completely fucked it up straight away by poking myself directly in the eye. I have blended these out as best as I possibly can and um, I think I'm going to use this for my bottom lid uh, just underneath the eye so I've now blended everything in and I've done my bottom eyeliner waterline lid as well and I thought on the actual lid I'm going to go in with a Stila eyeshadow glitter in kitten karma which is a, a glittery one i thought why not try and liven this up a little bit this is the color kitten is that the right way around no kitten karma whether you can see and this is what it looks like so it's like a glittery type I don't even know what it is picking it up. It's like a, yeah, there you go. It is a glittery shade. So I thought I would use this on my lid as something different. I wouldn't normally do that, but obviously why not? Not make ourselves feel a little better with a little bit of glitter. I've also placed a little bit in the corner of my eye, which I'll be completely honest, it hasn't turned out great, but you know, we're just going with this for now. I don't use eyeliner, so I will be going in now with my MAC mascara. Uh, this is the Extreme Dimension Lash Waterproof Mascara. And it is in the colour Black. This is the best mascara I've come across. I got one of those samples when you go into MAC and you buy makeup and they give you like little samples. This was one of the samples that I got and I have never ever looked back since. I am now going to just clean up the rest of my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Again, this is a sample that I got in if you all watched what I got for Christmas, you will know that when I purchased my GHDs, I got a free gift from Harvey Nichols. I think it was worth £600 and this was one of the free samples that I got within that gift. I am now going to do my lips and I'm going to start off with the MAC Lip Liner in the colour... Let me just see if I can get this. No, here at this end. In the colour Spice. Um, this is, I'm going to be honest, this is like one of the most used colours going around by other YouTubers. Uh, it was actually an influencer that put me onto this. 
so i'm going to just do line my lips i am now going to go in with my go-to lipstick now i have a bag here and this is basically my makeup that i would normally carry in my handbag but obviously due to the fact that we're not leaving the house anymore i've taken it out of my bag and just placed it in storage so my go-to lipstick is another mac product it is amplified lipstick in a blankety don't know whether you can see that probably hopefully no it's just focusing on my hand and i have no idea why but this is the color of the lipstick i am now going to go in with the urban decay all nicer setting spray now do you remember earlier on in the video when i said that the i found that the huda beauty powder was better than the laura mercer powder now i think the reason i found that was a possibility because of this spray that i used when i used the huda powder so i'm going to try it with this and see if it makes a little bit of a difference That was a lot of spray. That was a bit too much spray. So I'm just going to finish my hair off. I'm just going to tie it back in a ponytail, just sort of like fix the sides and whatever loose bits out. And then I will show you in the light exactly what this makeup looks like. Because like I said, it is quite dark on camera and it's just not doing it justice at all. So everyone, this is the finished look. Like I said, that dark light just wasn't doing it justice at all i hope you can really see but yes this is the finished makeup look i am very happy it has turned out a lot better than what i thought it was originally going to turn out i've had a few problems with my lip liner and it's smudged and it's basically taken a bit of the foundation away as well on the corner of my lip, which I'm not really too concerned about, but that's life. So thank you all for watching. Everything that I used today will be linked down below. And might I add, we are currently an hour into this video. Don't worry, it is not going to be an hour long video, as you will know by the end of this, which is now, it will be shortened right down um i really hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe um if there's any questions or comments please comment below um my next video won't be till the end of april now it will be the 26th of april which will be my um uh, what i got for my birthday video i don't think i'm going to be doing a birthday vlog but i'm not 100 percent sure so i will see you next time bye